G'day, I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Chogo Tree. About 12 months ago I put a video up on how to make a capillary bed, which is something to help you um, germinate your seeds and feed water into your seedlings. It uses basically one of these and one of these and one of these. And it worked really, really well. Uh, I've been using it for about uh, 12, 13 years. Um, find it works uh, really terrific, but for me it's here in the backyard. Uh, I've been working with a friend of mine who's been doing stuff with, among other things, schools uh, and running uh, greenhouses in schools and running uh, situations where he wants to grow larger amounts of seedlings. Now one of the things with it being in the backyard, I can whip down here any time I like. I can keep an eye uh, on these smaller bottles and make sure that the water is up to them. Uh, whereas my friend John, he doesn't have that luxury, so he's got to be in and out of the greenhouse uh, whenever he can manage it. So he needs larger water reservoirs, and uh, there are some problems with that. The biggest one being, if you go for one of these guys, where instead of 600ml it can be 2 litres, uh, and you have it in your pot, which is supported by the sand, it gets really unstable. So, how do you get around it? Uh, we did some research and this is what we've come up with. Before we get into the meat of uh, how to make our capillary bed 2.0, um, just like to make you aware of an issue that's come up uh, with our supply of pots. Uh, we used to get them from Bunnings, they looked like that. And, uh, and worked particularly well. Unfortunately, the supply of them seems to have dried up. They are available uh, on the net. You can purchase them directly, but if you're going into uh, a hardware, uh, you might not find them. What they're doing these days is supplying these. Uh, one of the problems being, as you'll note, all of the holes are on the bottom. They're shorter and they're broader, which if you're using these uh, cola style bottles, means that they are less stable they also get down further into it so you might want to get hold of, uh, of some of these to make your capillary beds uh, if you're using the uh, larger two liters that uh, have a, a different profile to the to the cola that has rounder edges uh, these ones work fine so basically the issues are or the, the main issue is that we need to secure this and uh, the obvious thing to do is use one of these things. So all we do is just use a hot glue gun and then secure that in the bottom of your tray. Make sure that you've got a good spacing so that uh, you haven't got so close to the edges that you can't fit the bottle in, but it's not so far away that it's taking up valuable space that could be uh, covered by ceilings. So that was uh, a fairly easily fixed thing. Um, my friend John was talking to a bunch of, uh, of eight-year-olds explaining what they were going to do in the greenhouse and the fact that his setup uh, meant that he had to come back in and, uh, and top up the bottles on a regular basis. And uh, one of the young fellas put his hand up and said, um, why don't you just put in a second pot? So clearly that is one of the things that you can do, is to install a second container. So that really, once you've got them full, uh, you can move away, do what you've got to do, come back in a few days, uh, and they're still, your seedlings are still going to be okay, supplied with plenty of water. So it's, uh, it's an easy fix. Once your uh, pots are stable, then fill up to the top of the pots with coarse sand, then put some water in, fill these, set them up, and you're ready to go to, uh, to put your seedlings in. Okay, so that's our capillary bed 2.0, uh, devastatingly simple, um, simple enough when an eight-year-old points out the answer to you. Um, hope you like this video, hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you did get something out of it, perhaps you might want to think about subscribing, but certainly uh, leave a like, 
uh, leave a comment down below. I'll also leave a link uh, down here to uh, the original video that I made on how to put together a capillary bed. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.